All right, welcome back again to Code Red Day because we are anticipating some dangerous weather to develop, especially later this afternoon and especially for those of you up to the north and northwest. It is a beautiful morning. It really is very comfortable, but by this afternoon, warm and windy with temps in the 80s and that severe threat increasing by late this afternoon. The further north and west you go in the state, the better chance you're going to have of severe weather. And I still think, you know, south central, southwest areas, isolated severe storms along that dry line are a possibility. But the further north and west you go, more coverage area and probably more intense storms because all forms of severe weather are going to be possible uh, by later this afternoon. Uh, a little bit of shower activity has been popping up here and there. We've even had some scattered thunderstorms here just to the east of Lincoln. Now that's moving out. That's not what we're concerned with. It's the storms later this afternoon. This deep upper level trough is moving its way into the central plains and a jet maximum, an area of very high winds at the upper levels of the atmosphere will be moving in. That's always a key component to the severe weather. That's at the upper levels. Now closer to the surface, this boundary, this boundary is key. Where it ends up will be the highest risk of severe weather today is near that front. Again, further south near the dry line, we'll have to watch for isolated severe storms to develop. Now again, this is for north central and west central Nebraska. Very large hail of possibility. You have a decent risk of tornadoes and damaging winds. You got all forms that are going to be possible. Here's our enhanced risk. The new update will come out at 8 o'clock. I wouldn't be shocked to see this shifted west and northwest just a little bit. But again, that's a three out of a five. That's getting up there. And you'll look at this map. This is a 10% risk of tornadic activity in shaded in yellow. 10% doesn't sound like much. That's actually getting fairly high. That is getting up there anywhere close to that warm front. As it lifts its way north, any storms that develop in the vicinity of this front and especially near that surface low, that's where you're going to have the highest risk of isolated tornadoes developing. So you look at 6 o'clock, these storms developing here, you really got to watch. But also watch along that dry line for some isolated severe storms to develop. Overnight, everything shifts east. Uh, real quick, I know I'm going to lengthen this, this weather out, but I want to point something out that late tomorrow afternoon and evening, these storms that develop in southeast areas, we also will have a little bit of a severe weather threat with those storms tomorrow evening. So we don't want to forget about that. Our temps this morning are in the 50s and 60s, although still 70 over in Lincoln. We'll top out mid 80s today, but here comes the cool down. Now the weekend, I think tomorrow's great up until that threat of rain tomorrow evening. Sunday a little cool and then downright chilly on Monday. And the best overall chance of rain will be Monday into Tuesday. That looks to be fairly widespread rainfall for many of us. So again, please make sure you stay updated with the forecast today. The highest threat will be in the north central, northwest, west central parts of our viewing area. But I also think we have to watch those storms that develop along that dry line in south central and southwest areas as well. A lot of factors. All right, thanks, Tim.